Hey guys, what's up? It's Ernest Gung here with another vlog from this series, Life in Japan. So guys, today I'm going to talk to you guys about why I'm happy staying at a share house and some of my thoughts and experiences while living here. So I've been here for almost four months now and up to this point I've never stayed at a share house or lived with any other people. Of course, besides my parents and when I moved out on my own. So now my original plan coming to Japan and moving here was to stay here for about two months, start looking for my own place and move out as soon as I can. But of course, life doesn't always work out that way. So here I am still at the share house, clinging to this comfortable lifestyle and I am enjoying my time here. So with this share house, there's 14 rooms and you have people coming from all different walks of life. Um, you have men, women, people from their early 20s up to their mid to late 30s. When I first moved in, half the people were Korean, we had Taiwanese, we had some Brits, uh, a Dutch person, and myself being the one Canadian. After some of the Koreans moved out, we had another Taiwanese, a Japanese, an Indian, an Indonesian, and here everyone has their own lifestyle. So you have creatives, you have students studying abroad, you have restaurant workers, office workers, salarymen, and of course, English teachers. It might depend at the share house you stay at and the people that are living there, but here, the one I'm staying at currently, there's no shared common social space. So there's no place for us to get together, hang out, chat, talk, and just unwind from the day. So some people tend to keep to themselves, but I've been lucky that I've made some friends along the way and most people are generally nice enough to help you if you need help. So what I mean by that is anytime one of us go out and we're stopping by the convenience store or we're getting some supplies, you know, we'll knock on each other's doors or we'll send each other a message and ask, uh, do you guys need anything? Do you guys need any milk? Do you want some of your favorite chocolates? Do you need some drinks? Um, you know, sometimes when we order food or if there's extra food, you know, we share with each other. So there's been some times where I've gotten some free pizza and it's been great. There's times where we help each other retrieve each other's mail. So if I'm staying in and someone's going out and they're expecting a package, then sometimes I'll try to help them retrieve it. Or if I'm out and they're in, they try to get my packages and answer the door so the person delivering it uh, doesn't miss us. Now, if you're watching this video and you're thinking about coming to Japan for a longer period of stay, or you're thinking of temporarily relocating here, and you're not sure if you'll survive in a share house or you're not sure if this is for you because you only speak English, you don't necessarily speak any Japanese, well, I'm here to say, uh, don't worry, you'll definitely be able to survive in the share house because most people living here do speak English to some varying degree. And of course, the staff that manages this uh, share house, they have English speaking staff that can help you. And most things here are written in English to help the, uh, the people living here. Now on to why I'm happy living at the share house and staying here. It's actually quite simple. It's because I've cut down on possessions. I own less things. I reduce clutter. I know where everything I own is and I don't have to clean as often so I can focus on what I need to do, what's important, and what are my what my goals are. Now, this place is only a 12 minute walk away from the workplace and although the room is small, as you can see in this video, it does have everything you need to live and do what you need to do in Japan. Rent is relatively cheap compared to where I was living in, in Canada and of course, you don't have to worry about utilities because that's all included so you get everything and most importantly internet and Wi-Fi is included with this room and I mean it's the Wi-Fi internet is good enough to the point where you can make your own videos you can vlog and you can upload them to your own YouTube channel now just to further illustrate my point here there was one book I read called Vagabonding by Rolf Potts and this particular book is a long-term travel guide that talks about wanderlust the lore of travel what makes it so captivating, why is it so addicting, and I myself love traveling, and until I read this book, I never fully realized it or thought much about it that when one of the many reasons why people love traveling is that when we're on the road and we're traveling, we just own less things. So, you know, you can only bring so many things when you're traveling, so you have to be smart and optimal about what you bring. You bring just the bare minimal and essentials, so you have less things less stuff weighing you down, you have less stuff to worry about, less stuff to stress, and you have less stuff to repack. And most importantly, you just have what you need when you're on the road. 
you can probably tell it doesn't take a lot for me to be happy as long as I have goals I'm working on, following through, making progress, pursuing my dreams, doing something I'm actually passionate about every day, then then I'm happy. I will say this though, living in a share house does have its own challenges and comes with its own difficulties. When I first moved in here for the first two weeks, I was being woken up by three different alarm clocks from three different people on this floor. So I actually never needed to set my own alarm clock because there's always one waking me up at 6.30, 6.50, 7.15 so I can always just choose from either any one of those. The reason I'm saying this is because not everything is super glamorous on my series Life in a Japan. I would rather provide you guys a realistic view and set expectations and not just paint a pretty picture so you the audience get some valuable content out of my videos. So comment below guys tell me what you like what you think if you have any questions about this share house I'll answer them in the comments below hit the like button if my content was valuable be sure to subscribe and ring the bell I am looking to create another video with more information on share house living and with that I thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next video peace